been made righteous. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 21. For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. As we continue talking about this amazing truth, that we have been made righteous in Christ, that Christ himself is our righteousness, and we have the standing before God where there is no uh, uh, condemnation that we are accepted and approved by God. We want to point out from 2 Corinthians 5.21 that God has made us to become the righteousness of God in Christ. You have become the righteousness of God. That means your state has changed. That you've gone from being unrighteous to being made the righteousness. You've gone from being made from being a sinner to now being a saint. That means your very nature, your very identity has changed. You were darkness, but now we are light. We were in sin, but now we are in righteousness. Our state, our nature, our identity has changed. Now, why is it important for us to understand this aspect of righteousness? Because we must understand that as believers, when we sin, it doesn't change our identity. It doesn't change our nature. It doesn't change our state. That means even if a believer sins, the believer is still a child of God. A believer is still the righteousness of God. He is still who God has made him to be in Christ. Sin affects our relationship, but it does not change your identity as a believer. So your relationship with God gets affected and you need to restore that. And it's a simple act of saying, God, I'm sorry you recognize and you repent and you ask him to wash you with the blood of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. So we are cleansed and we are put in a right relationship with God. But it does not change the fact that you are in Christ and that you are the righteousness of God. You have become the righteousness of God. And uh, that does not get affected. That does not change just because you've sinned. Now, we must call sin as sin and we must recognize sin for what it is. But there is a difference from our relationship be being affected because of sin uh, and, and the fact that you, who you are, what God has made you to become, that does not change. And we must be very clear about that. Because otherwise, people tend to go through the whole born again cycle all over again just because they sin. They feel like, oh, I have to get born again again. And, you know, they start over again. And so believers tend to live at that uh, that level of experience where they want to repent and repent and repent and repent and they never go past that. So it's a state where they are always confined to that uh, place of I need to repent for my sin. But we need to go beyond that. We need to know that we have been made the righteousness of God. This is who God has made us to be in Christ. I don't want to sin, but if I sin, I know how to deal with that with the blood of Jesus but my identity before God does not change. My nature before God does not change. My state of being made the righteousness of God still remains intact. And we must live out of that. Remember, you have been made the righteousness of God. You have become the righteousness of God in Christ. That's who you are. That's your identity. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you have made us the righteousness of God. That is our nature, that's our state, that's our identity. And we thank you for doing this for us and help us to learn how to live out of that. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.